Greetings, Cosmos, and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda, The Mystery of Solaris DX. The answer, the culprit, and the cat all lie in darkness. So, let's see here. Last time, I completed the first dungeon, and then this person told me a, a gloomy dungeon in the forest southeast of the village. Okay, so... Unless, uh, come on, Rain. Unless that chest that I missed had something that I needed, I should be able to just go southeast of the village, right? And then find a forest, and oh, hey. Billy the Reckless's Cavern, Entrance Forbidden. I love it. Alright, so... Okay, either I am bad at this game, which is wholly within the realm of possibility, or the hitboxes are kind of wonky. Or, potentially, both of those statements could be true. Let's see here. Oh gosh, this is where I find out that that chest that I missed yesterday was actually super important, isn't it? Alright, so... Huh! Diving into water causes damage to me. Fascinating. Well then, it looks like I should open up my map. Whoops. Okay. So, if I go far enough east. Wow, these enemies notice you Fast, I'm realizing. Okay, so. Forest southeast of the village. I need. If this is it, I need to uh, be able to lift things and also to jump. Hmm. Whereas if this is it... I can totally understand why games after A Link to the Past would make you take damage if you jump in water to, uh... or before you have, uh... uh the ability to swim. Since in Link to the Past, while it wasn't broken or especially overpowered, it was kind of a weird thing to be able to just... What the? Interesting. Okay, let's see here. Up right, up right, up right, down in right, come on. Yes! Weird! Oh, hey! Dark World stuff. Yeah, these things take a lot of damage. Okay, so... Huh, interesting. Now I can see pretty far from here. Alright, so... Hmm. I... 
Guess I'm not meant to access this place yet. Because it has the level 3 lift stuff. Or maybe it's level 2, I don't know. But... Let's see here. Okay, trying to go left. Okay, right, left, right. Okay. I need to find somewhere to get south. That's the problem. Up right, up right, up right. Up. Left up. Yeah, okay. And this doesn't let me do that. So, up, left, up, okay. So I guess that's a thing to look out for. Amidst the trees. Okay, that still goes nowhere. doesn't do anything useful for me. Okay, I guess I can only access that one from the other side. Unless I somehow gain the ability to jump and lift things simultaneously. Which would be cool. Okay, so here's the village. And I was told south east to find some gloomy woods or some such. It's entirely possible I've gotten worse at intuiting things over the years. Entirely probable. And given what a disaster my first video of this was. But hey! How did I never think to come down here? 20 money. Huh, interesting that they were hiding so much money just behind the trees. Okay, so I now have a new area to explore, I guess. A questionably new area to explore. Hey. Yeah, back off. Wait. This didn't get me anywhere I couldn't get to before. Let's try that again then. So heading down here. Sheesh. Okay, so nice another twenty money. Okay, I cannot get into here. So I'll go this way. 
keep an eye out down below. Oh, someone's coming here to say hello. Hello, you. Do you need any help? Yes. Hmm, I bet there's a ladder hidden here. Let's see. I think I can move it. Voila! Okay! Be careful, it looks dangerous in there. So sometimes I just need to wander. Level 1, Forest Dungeon. It's locked. If you had a large key, you might be able to open it. Okay. So, large keys are a thing again. Ah, thank goodness for health. Giant moth monster, huh? I would assume that's for the forest garden. Ooh! I got the map! How nice. Hmm. I could go downstairs, or I could stay up here for a while. Ow. That's a cruel trick, though, using the, uh, previously used... Oh, hey, explosives are demanded here. Yeah, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. Using a thing that was previously used for a uh, sand desert dungeon in order to get into a uh, forest dungeon. I like that I don't need to constantly, like, stop and wait for a second while the screen shifts to the side for stuff. I can just go into places. Alright. Let's see. Okay, I could continue exploring this floor. Or I could go downstairs. This is downstairs. Okay. Alright, so to get downstairs I need to hit a switch and turn it colors. Oh, nice! Okay, so I need to hit a button to unlock the door. I can't just unlock it by walking into it. Hmm. Oh, okay. I was under the assumption that I was some kind of floor switch or something, but... Oh, hey! A compass! How nice to have a compass. Plant monsters. Okay, so... What do I do with this? So I need to, uh... I guess I need three blocks to get to this chest. Okay, th this block isn't going to be going here, that's for sure. Can I pull the block? I cannot. So I need to be careful not to push it up against any walls. So... If I push it up from here, it'll be stuck in the corner, though. Yeah. Oh, well, I'll go for that chest later. I guess. Oh, hey, that's interesting. You can just shove a block into a doorway. Wait. Okay. I can grab it, but not pull it.
Okay. And here's the third one. So if I want that chest, and given how hard it is to get, it probably has an important key or something. Oh, hey! Here's where I came down from above the first time. I'm glad it all links back up. <laughs> Links. Alright, my tire is about to run out, so I'm just going to cancel it so you don't have to hear it. Also, so I don't have to hear it. So, let's see. found a croissant. So I assume that this is going to contain the big key then. So, I guess the first thing I'm going to do is shove this block over here, bring it up, And I need to get the other two blocks to the right side of this. So, yeah, I can just... If I can get them in through here, I can shove them through this path over to here and just shove them directly upward. Okay, so... Let's see here. What I need to do first is shove this block down, and then right, and then down, and then right. Games like Baba is You and Boktai should have made me good at block puzzles, but I'm merely adequate at them. This is a thing I have learned to accept about myself. So I'm glad that this one is a uh, fairly basic puzzle. I do wish I could push faster though. So... Okay, gotta push this all the way. Okay. any further. I don't want to have to start this over. I did love how Baba Zhu allowed you to like undo any number of block moves so if you pushed a block into the wrong place you didn't have to start the entire puzzle over like could potentially happen here. Alright, push this one all the way up. that, and then one more, and I can go for that chest which I assume holds the big key. Okay, defeated that enemy. When I first played A Link to the Past, I spent so much time trying to figure out what these things were meant to do. But, as far as I know, they don't do anything unless there's some secret where you use a specific item on them and they react to it somehow that I don't know about, which is entirely feasible. Good work, me, getting greedy like that. You could have easily waited... Ah. Okay.
Okay, so... Ah. Okay. And now this is a previously solved problem. Good job, me. Eh? Getting greedy with the pushing of the block. Yeah, and it reduces to a previously solved problem. So the fact that I have to go through all the work of solving this previously solved problem again is kind of tedious. Block pushing puzzles. Unless you uh, have designed them really well, they can easily become super tedious. Which I suppose is part of why Nintendo restricted themselves to having you push blocks in one space in A Link to the Past. That way the puzzles had to have a certain simplicity and quickness to them. And yet they still had puzzles where there were two separate solutions that got you separate rewards. Whoops! Okay. And... the large key. Now I can open certain doors and find many treasures. Right, right, I need to push the button to open the door still, though. I had hoped that this would contain some health. Okay, good. Health. Some of this might contain cash, I don't know. Is... Oh no, I need to go hit a thing. So, I will... Go all the way to the other side of this floor, hit a thing, and then come back. Yay, health. Ow. So, Solaris is actually a game engine? Not just that was made available to make other Zelda games, and uh, I suppose other thing. Is my maximum cash 100 right now? Fascinating. Anyway, I guess it was made available for other people to make games with too, and so people have surpassed this one with their own games, supposedly. And, uh oh. What is this? Ow. Okay, I broke a thing. Okay, oh, now I can damage the main body of the boss. Ah! Okay. I'm so glad that this forced me to pick up a... well, it may not force me. Yes, I'd like to save. Yes, I'd like to keep playing. Alright, I have to assign it to a button. Okay. Maybe I didn't need to eat that croissant. You found a fairy! She's wonderful! Oh! As soon as you touch a fairy, you can just shove it into a bottle. You don't need to do anything special. That was a mid-boss, wasn't it? Is that an egg? You don't have any empty bottles, oh no. And so the fairy disappears if you try to keep it and don't have any empty bottles, great. Okay. Actually, it should be a fairly quick run to get back to there. And I want the treasure. Oh, the iron gloves. 
You can lift rocks. Neat. Now I suppose I could, in fact, just move on with my life from here and do that thing that I love to do where I go get a more and more powerful collecting pieces of heart and other dungeon loot. But that depends on how much is locked behind plot and how much of that plot is locked behind uh, dungeon completion. Okay, so... Down I go... Ow. What the? So, I was in fact expected to do that thing that I just did, I guess. Huh. Wasn't expecting the eggs to spawn moths on me. Hmm. Yeah, okay, I assume that that's part of the puzzle that I don't understand yet. Haha. -ha. Man, one of those anti fairies is just stuck in a loop of going corner to corner. I need another key to open that. Delightful. Okay. So I need the iron gloves to get the boss key in order to get to the boss's lair. Interesting. Alright. And so I just fall down here. What is this? Oh no. Sheesh. Ah. Uh. Uh. Well, thank- Whoa, the, the excess damage from whatever killed me carried over to my next life after the fairy resurrected me. Okay, that was... a strange experience. Okay, so... Thank you! You saved my life! I'm one of the eight protectors called forth by Princess Zelda. We are devoted to watching over the re remains of the Holy Relic, the Triforce, left by the three goddesses after the creation of your world. Throughout the millennia, the Triforce, although the source of life and prosperity, was also the source of great greed and constant struggle between the forces of good and evil. Even today, the Holy Relic is in danger. However, history repeats itself. Whenever there is danger, there is a hero whose courage drives the darkness away. Find my brothers and discover who is behind all this before the forces of darkness plunge Hyrule into chaos. May the hero bring peace and prosperity to the kingdom. Okay, and that, that's it. Okay. Join me next time when I can start lifting things. Oh, what joy that brings me. I'll see you then.